Back here at home, Governor Gavin Newsom wants voters to approve funding for more mental health treatment beds in California. The announcement came on the final stop of his State of the State tour. Our political reporter Morgan Reiner joins us now. Now, Morgan, these are not traditional treatment beds, I understand. Yeah, the Secretary of Health and Human Services, Dr. Mark Alley, said we can expect anything from campus-style settings to residential facilities. Governor Gavin Newsom says the measure he wants to put before voters in 2024 will create 6,000 beds. That would provide support for 10 to 12,000 individuals each and every year. At a cost of somewhere between three and five billion dollars. People's lives can be changed. I'm, forget the cynics out there. Let's say this is too big, we'll never figure it out. We can't save all these folks. That's not true. But who will pay to operate those beds? In 2004, voters approved a tax on millionaires known as the Mental Health Services Act to provide funding for county mental health services. 20 years later, it is time, and I say this as the author of the act, it is time to modernize the Mental Health Services Act. Newsom's office says funding from this act accounts for 30% of the state's mental health services, but that there are constraints. For one, funds are not allowed to be used for housing needs or treating substance use disorders. I think substance use disorders were left out for um, reasons that today we would say are all related to the stigma that existed. Newsom wants voters to modernize the act and devote one billion every year from the tax to go to housing and substance use treatment. These beds are desperately needed. Michelle Cabrera is the director of the County Behavior Health Directors of California. She is grateful for the governor's vision, but she just wants to make sure that the one billion dollars to operate the new beds is in addition to, not instead of. Expand investment in housing, expand um, investments in substance use disorders and um, continue uh, with the amazing programs and services that are currently supported under the act. The details are still being worked out, but Sacramento Mayor Daryl Steinberg addressed that concern, saying the money is growing. Millionaires continue to do well in California, so it doesn't have to be a choice between funding this or that. Morgan, this is a big, bold proposal. I guess the question right now is, what's next for us, the voters? First, lawmakers have to pass a bill or bills with their vision once they complete all of the details. Then it needs a two-thirds vote to pass because it is a constitutional amendment change. And then it will have to go to the voters in 2024 to have the final say. Morgan Reiner reporting live from Sacramento. More to come on this. Morgan, thanks.